Hey guys, so today I wanna to share with you one of my all-time favorite camera hacks, and it is surprisingly easy. All you need is your camera and your cell phone. Okay, so this is a technique that I use all the time in my product and portrait photography. So essentially what we're gonna do is use the screen on our cell phone to create a reflection or a distortion in the image that we're taking. Now you may have seen photo hacks like this where people use a piece of glass or a cup to create a distortion in the image. The difference with this trick is that you can actually customize the color of the lens flare, the distortion to create um, a more interesting, cohesive image. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so first thing we do is take a close-up photo of one of the main colors of our subject with our cell phone. If you're shooting a product, uh, it's usually a good idea to get the color of the logo or one of the primary colors of the product itself. Okay, so once we have that photo, we go ahead and bring it up in our photo library on our phone, and I recommend turning on the screen lock so the phone isn't rotating all over the place while we try to use this. Uh, also make the screen as bright as possible, and then we go ahead and zoom in on the color as much as possible so that it fills the screen on the phone. Okay, so next up is to actually take the photo. I recommend using a 50 millimeter lens or longer. For this example, I'm gonna be using an 85 millimeter lens. Okay, so the way that you do this is to just hold your phone parallel to the lens and start to play with the angle that it needs to be at to get the proper or the amount of reflection that you actually want in the image. I really recommend shooting at a lower f-stop to make sure everything's a little blurrier in the foreground to hide the fact that this reflection is actually your phone screen. So here's a photo without the effect and here is a photo with the effect. You can see that some of this extra texture and some of this extra color layering really brings the image together in the foreground and adds a little more to images that tend to be a little more boring. Now, one of the main reasons I really love this like photo hack is because it's easy and it doesn't require any other equipment. A lot of these photo hacks you see, you gotta smear some Vaseline on the lens or you gotta do a piece of paper over the lens. It's, it's extra things to carry and it doesn't work in a lot of scenarios. And this is one of those tricks that you can apply to almost any type of photography you're doing, whether it's weddings or landscapes or portraits or product. If you have an image that you're working on that needs just that extra something to it, you can kind of fall back on this and you always have your phone in your pocket. So it's something that I use all the time in my professional jobs and it looks kind of silly while you're doing it, but the results are actually kind of incredible. All right guys, that's it for today. I know it's a really super short video, but I hope that's some valuable information that you can actually take out there in the real world with you. Um, have a good day. Please stay safe during this time and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.